Pig. Peppa and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record. Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming. I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No. Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. <laughs> that was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Pepper. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes. yes. OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Peppa. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs>
bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, hi, Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Ah. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going, Ah! Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble.
Pepper and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I love playing with Big Cousin Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe! Chloe! Oh, Chloe! Hi there. These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear. You can call me Si. It's short for Simon. And I'm B. It's short for Belinda. <laughs> I'm Pepper. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. <laughs> I'm not a baby. But you're both little. I'm a big girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? <laughs> yes, let's play hide and seek. We don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. <laughs> what about the yes-no game? What's the yes-no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Pepper is very good at playing the yes-no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <laughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Pepper is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Pepper and George. <laughs> Move up. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Patch up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. <laughs> I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. no. What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> see Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up.
Pepper and her friends are playing at Rebecca Rabbit's house. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. <laughs> we'll all hide and Pepper can find us. Okay. One. Two, Everyone must find a hiding three, place before Pepper counts four. to ten. Danny and Candy are hiding in the branches of a little tree. Zoe, Pedro and Rebecca are hiding behind a fence. Susie and Emily are hiding behind a bush. Nine, ten. Where's your nuts? Here I come. <laughs> I know where you are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Peppa cannot find anyone. <gasps> this is impossible. Freddy Fox has come to play. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? We're playing hide and seek. But I can't find anyone. Shall I find them for you? You can try, but it's impossible. Watch this. <laughs> Found you. Oh, hello, Freddy. Ha-ha, <laughs> there you are. Oh. Both. Oh. Freddy Fox has found everyone. How did you do that? I'm good at smelling. What's smelling got to do with it? I can find you by sniffing your smell. <laughs> I'm not smelly. I had a bath last night. I know. You smell nice. Oh. <laughs> I could even find you with my eyes closed. Go on, then. <coughs> find Susie with your eyes closed. Easy. Hi, Susie. One, two, three. Susie is looking for somewhere to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Freddy is looking for Susie with his eyes closed. He is sniffing where Susie Sheep has walked. Round the tree, behind the little bush, and back up the hill. Thanks to my nose. It's a super nose. Yes, it is. Has everything got a smell? Oh, yes. Everything has a different smell. What do I smell of? <laughs> you smell of flowers and Wellington boots. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? You smell of wet grass and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? Bananas and jam. <laughs> what do I smell of? Milk and fish fingers. <laughs> what do I smell of? Pedro, you smell of toothpaste. Oh, what's your favourite smell? Eggs. What is the worst thing you've ever smelled? Blue cheese. Pooey! <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly dinner time. How do you know? I can smell carrot soup. <laughs> I can smell carrot soup too. And, and me. me. Dinner's ready. Come and get your carrot soup. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is enjoying Mummy Rabbit's carrot soup. This soup is yummy. Who can that be? Mr Fox has come to take Freddy home. Mmm, oh, I can smell dinner. Oh, Mr Fox. Hello. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Hello, Dad. I've just had my dinner down a rabbit hole. Good lad. And can you guess what's for pudding? <laughs> Smells nice. I'd say strawberry jelly. That's right. Mr Fox loves smelling things. Mm. Everyone loves smelling things. <laughs> <laughs> Chatterbox. It is a lovely sunny day and Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Peppa? Pepper and Susie are best friends. Guess what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> yesterday I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... 
What's wrong? You talk too much. You go blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Bar Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. <laughs> I can be quiet. It's not Easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. OK, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two... I'm not ready. OK, now. <laughs> on your mark. Ready. Get set. Three. Hello. <laughs> I'm home. Oh. I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact, I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. <laughs> I am an expert at Talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. Oh, <laughs> you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter. Peppa loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter. Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, 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 chatter. Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. chatter, chatter. chatter, chatter. <laughs> Whistling. It is a lovely sunny morning and Daddy Pig is reading his newspaper. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> Try making a smaller O shape. <laughs> oh, oh, like this. And then you can whistle a tune. Uh, 
I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. <laughs> it took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <whistles> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <whistles> George <whistles> is in the bedroom playing with his toy rocket. <whistles> George! Learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible. Like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. <coughs> can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <coughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. What's whistling anyway? You put your lips together and blow. Like this. Hello, Peppa? The cookies are ready. Oh, goody! Cookies! <laughs> They'll be hot. You should blow on them first. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want a cookie, Peppa? No, thank you, Mummy. I think I might go outside and be on my own for a little bit. <laughs> Can you whistle yet? It's no use, Daddy. I'm never going to whistle, ever. Have you been practising? <sniffs> yes, lots, but it doesn't work. You need a little rest, Pepper. Here, have a cookie. It's hot. You should blow. <sniffs> oh, what's that? It sounded like a whistle to me. <sniffs> <laughs> what a lovely tune. Pepper has learned how to whistle. <laughs> I can whistle!
muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. It is morning. Hooray! Look at muddy puddles! <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Duck. What are you doing here? Wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! Oh! Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Ah, uh, chocolate. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Thanks Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her friends. It's Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Come on, let's 
cycle through the big hill. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, Mr Fox. It's afternoon, Mr Pig. Afternoon? Already? My watch must have stopped. My shop sells watches and clocks. Let me see what I've got in the van. One grandfather clock. It's a bit big. Good, isn't it? It actually comes in a set of three. Oh. Who's got the loudest bell? I haven't got a bell. Oh, but my dad will have one in the back of his van. Three clocks are much better than one. Dad! Have you got a bicycle bell, please? How many do you want, son? I only want one. I do them in boxes of two. Freddy Fox now has two bicycle bells. Brilliant. Thanks, Dad. Dad gave me two bells. Wow. What else has your dad got in his van? He's got everything. Ooh. What shall we play now? Let's have a bicycle race with a big shiny cup for the winner. But where can we get a cup? Yes, where can we get a cup? I'll see what I can do. The best thing about having your own cement mixer is... Dad, have you got a big shiny winner's cup for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Wow, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup. It's made of plastic gold. Wow. wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van, except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs>